Hey everybody. In this video, I wanted to show you how to work with some sequences on your calculators. The, this is specifically for the TI-83 or TI-84 calculators. So, one of the things that you'll have to do occasionally is uh, to type in a list of numbers or sequence of numbers. You can do that a couple different ways. Uh, you could press the stat button and use the editor and type things in. Um, alternatively, uh, you can just do things from the home screen like this. If you want to type in a list, you'll have to use the special parentheses, um, not the parentheses, but these braces, which is second parentheses. So suppose I wanted to type in the set of prime numbers. Uh, I could do that by typing two, and then the comma button is here, and three, five, seven, and 11, and 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, I think. Anyway, that's good enough for now. When you're done, hit second and parenthesis to kind of close that. And if you want to store this list of numbers uh, somewhere so that you can use it in multiple calculations, uh, you press the store button down here and then either uh, use one of these presets by hitting, say, second one and store it into list one. Or uh, you can store it long term if you uh, use the list menu up here. So let me bring that back up by hitting second enter and get rid of this guy. And uh, you'll have to use one of these little lowercase l's um, that you find in list ops. So if you press list ops and choose, um, notice there's a lot of other things in this list ops menu. We'll be back here multiple times, but here, the lowercase l. And then you can type in um, the name. So I might uh, choose primes. I think you can do like five letters tops for a list name. So um, I might have to just call it prime. So alpha P, alpha R, and I, and M, and E. So now that list is stored in the list menu. So if you hit second list, you can go down here and find, yeah, primes. And you can hit that and you'll see that list again. So um, anyhow, if you wanted to do that, uh, key is to type in parentheses or braces and then your numbers and so on. You wouldn't actually do dot, dot, dot. Calculator's not gonna be able to think, figure out what that means. Uh, and then the store arrow and then L primes would make that sort of thing happen. If you wanted to um, uh, know what the tenth number in a list is, uh, you can do that by typing the list and then in parentheses putting uh, the term number in parentheses. So if I have this list in primes, I should be able to do L primes uh, parentheses 10 and it ought to be able to tell me the tenth number that's in that list. So let's try that a second second list, go down to list prime, and then in parentheses put 10, and uh, yeah, 10th number in that list was 29. So anyway, there's uh, one thing you could do. Um, this section, I think, or this tool, I think is probably the most useful tool that you can use, uh, and this is if you have a formula or a function for a sequence, uh, you can use the calculator to generate a bunch of numbers in that sequence. And uh, the command uh, is kind of complicated. It takes four different arguments here, um, but we'll show you through a handful of examples and you'll, I hope, get pretty comfortable with it. Uh, you, type your, you type the sequence command first, which is in the list ops menu. And then you type the function, uh, the formula that you're gonna be using. Um, you'll have to tell the calculator which symbol in that formula is the variable uh, and you'll have to tell it when you want to start and how many terms you want to go to. Um, so start is usually one and end is maybe 10 if you want the first 10 numbers or 100 in this example here. So if I want the first 100 triangular numbers, uh, I will type in sequence, which again you get from list ops, and then I need the formula. The formula is one half times n times n plus one. Then I'll need a comma and the variable is n. 
and then I'll need a comma and the start number. I want to start at one and I want to go to 100. And uh, when you're all done with this command, you'll have to type a closing parenthesis. And so that's what I'm going to type in a moment. Let's see how that works. We'll go into the list menu. The second stat gets me there. Then I'll go over to ops and go down to sequence. Once I've chosen sequence, uh, I will type in the formula, which is one half times n, uh, so alpha n. Um, nope, not yet. Uh, times in parentheses alpha n plus one, then a comma, then tell the calculator what variable we're using, which in this case is n. And then I want to go from 1 to 100. So now I've got that in there. If I hit enter, the calculator is going to think for a little bit because it's generating 100 numbers. And you can see the 100 um, numbers in this list by pressing over. These are all the triangular numbers. So if I want to know, um, well, first of all, before I go too far, let me store this in uh, a list. So I'm going to store this in a list called triangle or try or something like that. So L and we'll call it try. So now let's find the hundredth number in that list. Uh, rather than scrolling through a hundred numbers, uh, we can find that number right away by choosing from the list names menu, that triangle list, and then in parentheses typing a hundred. So 100th number in that list, uh, or Gauss's number, is 5,050. So another tool that's uh, kind of useful is um, the uh, cumulative sum tool. Uh, this produces a series from a list. Uh, essentially, it adds up the numbers in the list. And so uh, if we want to uh, create that list, uh, we'll find in the list ops cum sum and uh, use that. If we just want the total of the list and we don't care about all the steps in between, we could just do sum of list. And so let's um, try a moment to come up with the series for the first 12 odd numbers. So remember, that'd be one, three, five, seven, and so on. Um, but I want to have the calculator add these up and give me a one for the first running tool and a four for the next sum and 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9 for the next sum and 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 I think is 16 for the next sum. I want the calculator to generate that list of numbers for me. So let's do this. Um, let's type in cum sum of and then I'll type the numbers just by hand although I could use a formula to find this too if you wanted to. So that ought to produce it. Let's see it in action. So I'll clear this a moment. We'll hit second list, go to ops. We'll choose the cum sum option. And uh, then we will type in the numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, um, 19. I'm not sure how many I need to get to to get all the way up to 12, but this will be good enough. So now you'll hit enter and you'll see that list of numbers. So 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. If I remember right, the 12th uh, should be 144. So yeah, I counted perfectly. Nice. If I just wanted the total uh, without that running total, um, I can change this to not be cum sum, but to just be sum. And so suppose you were adding up a hundred numbers in a list, then you probably wouldn't want um, to look through all of them. Yeah, that's in the math menu, sum. By the way, some of the other options in there, you saw prod, that would be if you wanted to multiply them all together, minimum, maximum, those gives you the smallest and biggest numbers in a list. Um, so lots of nice tools in the list menu. Um, another trick uh, that'll be kind of useful is to create a difference table. And so a difference table is a tool that we can use to kind of see what sort of patterns something has. So let's 
see if we can make that happen with this particular sequence. So let me start by just generating the first 10 numbers in that sequence. And we did that using the sequence command. And I'll type x cubed uh, minus 5x plus 10 with my variable being x. And I'll go from 1 to 10. So second list, ops, sequence. And the formula is x cubed minus uh, 5x plus 10. And I'll let x range from 1 to 10. So here's a bunch of numbers. Uh, let me type them in on the screen here so we can uh, see how this difference works. Now, if we wanted to, we could subtract these by hand. It's not that hard, right? This is 2, and this is something, and this is something else, 20, 32 maybe. Um, but we can have the calculator find that uh, quickly for us. And so we'll do that by hitting second list and going to ops and choosing the change in list option. And uh, I'm going to just do this with my answer. And so here is the first differences, we say. So 6 minus 8 was 2, and 8 minus 22, or 22 minus 8 was 14, and then it went up by 32, and then it went up by 56, and 86, and so on. Um, I don't see any obvious pattern there. Uh, let me do that same command again. So second list, so the, that delta is change in list. And so now these differences from 12 to 14, that was an increase of 12. From 14 to 32 was an increase of 18, and then 24, and then 30, and so on. And uh, if we do this one more time, we see the third differences are all six. And the fact that the third differences are all the same means that this particular uh, pattern is a polynomial sequence. Of course, we knew that because we knew the formula, but if we hadn't been told the formula ahead of time and just had a list of numbers and needed to find the difference table, that would be a clue that uh, would help us in with that. So once again, that is a delta uh, list, which you find in the list ops menu. And then I did with the answer. So. One last tool, uh, which is... Uh, I uh, just want to call your attention to, uh, and that is simply how many numbers are there in a list. And so if we uh, wanted to figure that out, um, we could type dimension of list. And so I have all my, uh, all bunch of numbers stored in the primes. And so let me see how many numbers I have stored in primes real quick without actually counting them. So I'll go to list and choose uh, dimension. And then I'll choose in the list menu, the primes list. And close parentheses. And so apparently I have 11 numbers stored in primes right now, which is not very much because there's an infinite number of primes. So that list could be super long. But um, if I wanted to know how many of the triangular numbers I have typed in, I could do dimension and choose um, what was that? Try? Yeah. So I think this was a hundred, right? Yeah, we have a hundred prime num or triangle numbers stored in. Um, anyway, there's a ton of other tools that uh, you can find if you mess around with the list uh, menu. Uh, check out ops uh, and math specifically. Uh, ops, if you need to sort lists, uh, sorta. <laughs> it's kind of fun name. Uh, you can do that. And uh, anyway, if you have some questions about anything, I would uh, love to help you. Let me know and uh, see you next time.